you about the American Miniature Horror. My name is Devin Skidder and I am nine years old. This is I'm a member of the Brown Buddy Sports Club. This is my first year in 4-H and my first public presentation. There are many colorful myths surrounding the miniature horror. It is believed that in the prehistoric times, small horse breeds like, were likely the product of severe, harsh, natural climates and limited feed. It is though it is thought that miniature horses are a res result result of nearly 400 years of slaughter and breeding. It is known that the, at various times in history, miniature horses have been bred for pet, novelty, research, mind working, and royalty gifts. The first mention of the small horses in the United States was about 1888. It is believed that the American miniature horse horses have a mix of English and Dutch mining mine horse and shuttle pony blood. Two miniature horse registries exist today. Miniature horse are more desirable. For the past few years, 
Jan Jennifer has been successfully showing at both AMHA and AMHR horse shows. She and her horse Mountain Chip have taken home many national championships. Last year my mom got me my very first miniature horse. His name is Dan Antonio Darby. Darby is registered as AMHA and AMHR. Darby is 32 inches tall. He is part of the Division A group with AMHR. This year I will be preparing to show Darby in the youth classes at AMHA. AMHA shows. Darby and I hope to qualify for AMHA National Horse Show in Fort Worth, Texas. We could, we would be able to stable with Man and Jennifer and her horses Marlon and Chip. Taking care of a miniature horse like Darby means that miniature horse owners must remember that miniatures are prone to overeating. It is important to monitor their food and exercise. Maintaining a horse is one tenth the cost of maintaining a large horse. One acre of pasture can support three miniature horses. Miniatures tend to thrive on sunshine and earn to run flat. They tend to like attention and be easy to handle. Generally, generally means generally miniatures are well mannered, but like all horses, their temperaments can vary. Since Miniature horses are too small to ride. Getting them ready for the show ring is different than preparing a large horse for show season. With Darby, I start by ground driving him and hooking him to his cart. Many people who have more than one miniature horse will put them on the treadmill to keep them in shape. Other people prefer to sit in a golf cart. As they drive the golf cart around, a passenger will hold the lead ropes to several miniatures, and the miniatures will jog next to the car. This type of exercise is very popular at many horse shows. Since there is no turnout available, it is important to groom your miniature horse all year long. But miniature horses are only shown when they have just been body clipped. Body clipping shows up your miniature's confirmation, muscle tone, and good looks. Straight legs, a pretty head with wide fit eyes, a sleek neck, a long mane and tail are some traits the judges like to say. My horse Darby is a multinational champion with both AMHA and AMHA. He has championships in several classes such as Roadster and Obstacle Dragon. In those types of classes, he is not really judged on how pretty he is, but on his performance and manners. I hope that my presentation has given you some insight on the world of miniature horses. Thank you for your attention. Are there, thank you for your... <laughs> okay. I hope that my presentation has given you some insight into the world of miniature horses. I found a lot of information on the internet and the AMHR and AMHA websites. My Aunt Jennifer and Mom helped too. Thank you for your time and attention. Are there any questions?